If the easing of lockdown goes smoothly over the next few months, there will be plenty of reasons to celebrate. And one wine merchant thinks he might just have the perfect accompaniment to those celebrations with a 30-litre bottle of rare champagne. Uh, very pleased to say that joining us on the programme is Justin Nock, Chief Wine Analyst at Oeno. Uh, Justin, great to have you on the programme this morning. Um, I am someone who enjoys a tipple at the best of times, but even for me, a 30-litre bottle of champagne seems just a little bit excessive. What, what's so special about this? Um, champagne's obviously a, a wine that we enjoy to celebrate the most important you know, occasions in our life. Um, we've all drunk great champagne, but in this case, this is a single bottle that doesn't exist anywhere else in the world. Uh, the Michelza Deck is the largest single format of um, wine that can be made. Um, and four of these only were produced and three have already been sold. So this is the last one in existence. So in that sense, it's not just a champagne, it's also a piece of art or a very rare luxury product. What, what, what is so special about the 1995 vintage that someone thinks, well, rather than bunging out, you know, several bottles of it, we'll pop it in this giant one and, and find one purchaser? Uh, it's a combination of things. So um, the wine comes from a single vineyard in a, in a remote part of Champagne. It is in the southeast corner, close to Chablis and Burgundy. So in that sense, it, it shares a sense of all those regions. Um, it's made from mostly Pinot Noir and it's aged for a long time on its leaves. But what's particularly rare about this bottle is that most large formats, so magnums or larger than magnums, are decanted and aged in the bottle um, afterwards, whereas this is actually aged for its entire life in the bottle. So this has spent 17 years aging on the leaves. Um, and 1995 is a powerful vintage. The vineyard is known for its very strong mineral character that it brings to the wines, and they need a lot of age to reveal their best. Um, Justin, I, I suspect I might not be able to afford it. It might just be a bit of a stretch, but just give me an idea of how much you're expecting this to go for. So uh, we took ownership of the wine uh, a little over a week ago, and it was offered for sale at 200,000 euros. Um, and the wine actually sold within a couple of hours of hitting, hitting the floor. So uh, it's already been purchased. And, and is someone going to buy this to drink it? Or is this going... I mean, I understand. I mean, the bottle itself costs several thousand pounds to, to manufacture to get... to be secure. So, I mean, is this going to sit in a cellar somewhere? Or a cellar all of its own, perhaps? Sure, it will. It's a wine that definitely has the capacity to improve for you know, a long period of time after today. Um, and there's no doubt this wine will be consumed because that is the purpose of all champagne. But we've also seen that we live in a world at the moment where people are prepared to pay $2 million for uh, Joe Do uh, Jack Dorsey's first tweet or maybe half a million dollars for a former American president to give a speech or several million dollars for a Grammy Award winning artist to perform a 20-minute concert. So the important things about products and items like these is that people buy them for the great memories in their life. And, um, you know, we only have so many of those, in, you know, throughout the course of our life. We've seen through the last year that small celebrations, weddings, birthdays, anniversaries, graduating, these are all important life markers. Um, and celebrating with champagne is the perfect way to do it. So there's no doubt that somebody will one day open this wine and enjoy it because that's its purpose. Got to say, for two hundred thousand euros, you got to hope that your prospective partner is uh, worth it. <laughs> you know, um, Justin, uh, we're going we're gonna to have to leave it there. But really appreciate your time this morning, uh, Justin Knott from uh, Oeno. Thanks very much indeed.